close, her first class niece was uh, the Grand Hill. Y'all remember the Grand Hill? Yeah. yeah. And from that day forward, like, I mean, little, little. From that day forward, she always said, Dad, you always dress me like a boy. I'm like, shit. A lot of kids ain't dressed. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, Chris, so she, she, gave me, she gave me this hat and an Ed Crowley picture for Christmas, right? And I looked at it, I was like, ooh, nice. Hey, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how you use it. Every time you look, oh, she's a lot. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. So I got home. I go to old lady with me. Single, a three bedroom house. I live by myself. Two jobs. Future baby mama. That's just crazy. I'll do it. That's a crazy one right there. But I get it home, and one of our boys goes, the hat is sitting on my brady, and he goes, Queen, what's that, young girl over here, nigga? And I said, that's when it hit me, like, damn, my daughter is actually younger. I turned 40 this summer. So right. it hit me, like, young boy. It hit me, man, like, yo, that's a young girl. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, oh, I'm old head at this point, but it was all good. But I said, no, my daughter bought me that hat, so I rocked my hat with the pink stripe, and she told me, what's the pink? Mm. Because my daughter, I said, you know, she had a pink it. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> so, I got to speak to that, just so many of y'all things just had that ring on me. Just feel me, and I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>